First at 11, tracking Tropical Storm Gonzalo in the Atlantic Ocean. It's the earliest G-storm to form since 2005. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. I'm Lauren Pastrana. Gonzalo is not a threat to South Florida right now, but that's not all. It is a reminder, though, we are in the middle of hurricane season and during a pandemic. Let's get it right out to Chief Meteorologist Craig Scepter, who is tracking the tropics right now. Craig? Yep, guys, Gonzalo a little bit stronger tonight. Winds up to 60 miles an hour, moving to the west at 12 miles an hour, kind of bearing down now on the Windward Islands, and a hurricane watch has been issued for Barbados there on the eastern end of the Windward Islands. Here's the future track forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane sometime during the day tomorrow and then start to weaken a little bit, but could still be a hurricane as it reaches the islands. This time frame here is Saturday evening. After that, it is a weakening trend forecast to a weak tropical Storm somewhere in this general area in the Monday time frame. We'll talk a little bit more uh, coming up about why this weakening trend is expected, what's showing up that would cause that. So here's the way Gonzalo looks tonight a small but healthy looking tropical storm there. But that's not all that we're tracking tonight in the tropics. Remember that tropical wave that passed over us and is still soaking us with moisture? It is now tropical depression number eight. It's located there in the Gulf of Mexico, winds at 30 miles an hour, about 530 miles east southeast of Port O'Connor, Texas. The future track on it is for it to strengthen to Tropical Storm Hannah that in the Friday, Saturday time frame and Tropical Storm watches have gone up now for much of the Texas Gulf Coast there. And then after that, uh, somewhere in the general area of the Texas coast, Saturday evening and then weakening to a tropical depression and headed toward the Rio Grande. Meanwhile, down here, we're dealing with showers and thunderstorms. There's more activity upstream. Keys have been hit hard tonight. I'm going to look at our soggy forecast and when we will see some improvement coming up. 